This is Michel Razouk's new reality. Daily trips to St. George Hospital in Beirut. Razouk was shot by a rubber bullet at close range while attending a protest. They say it's an impact of one to two tons, so it takes your breath out for a few minutes. Razouk was left with a large wound to his abdomen. The doctor who treated him says he was lucky. The bullet did not pierce his muscle. He had something like five, four by five centimeter cavity where all the fat has been burned. But Dr. Azar noticed something else. The bullet Razouk was shot with was still inside him. This is the first case that we noticed this, like I said before. The bullet is in, it's a round, bullet, round thing, and then you have a plastic thing, you have the videos for that, where they, both of them they were inside his wounds. Riot police in Beirut have started to periodically fire rubber bullets at protesters. It's a serious escalation, and one that has life-changing effects on some protesters. Jean-Georges Prince was shot in the face at the same protest as Razouk. I was losing so much blood that they couldn't actually prep a room for me and they had to actually perform surgery in an emergency room. Uh, it took him four hours and a half and 56 stitches uh, to reconstruct my lower lip and my chin. Anti-inflammatory. He now has to take a cocktail of painkillers just to get through the day. Talking hurts and he can't eat. Prince still has a hard time believing what happened to him. It felt really absurd to me that I mean, nobody expects to get shot in the face during a protest. He feels betrayed by the government and the police. The people shooting at us are supposedly the people who are supposed to guarantee our safety. The Red Cross says hundreds of protesters have been injured in the clashes since the beginning of the week of rage in mid-January, a turning point from the mostly non-violent protests over the country's economic failings that started in October. Despite his injuries, Pass says once his doctor okays it, he'll continue to protest. And he's not alone. Razouk will be there with him. We all have, each one of us have to do something to make, at least to reach the minimum we can get out of this revolution. This is why I will still go down.